So usually I start videos like this by saying, so I guess everyone saw this picture already, but that's the funny thing about this. This picture was released last week and I, as much as I'm into comic books and comic book news, didn't see anything about it for like three or four days. I didn't see people talking about it. Nobody retweeted it. Uh, the people who saw it reacted to it, but they didn't really make that big of a deal. So that's actually kind of what this is about. So the title of this video is The Terrible Costumes of the Inhumans <laughs> is the Least of Their Problems. So uh, to put a little a history, and, I, and I've discussed this a little bit in other videos, Marvel in the 1990s went through a bunch of corporate shakeups and a comic book crash. And But even though after the crash, they were still selling like five times what they are right now. So there was a lot of panicking. There was a lot of, of, of Wall Street games. And then there was a lot of selling things for the short money. So they sold the movie and TV rights for Fantastic Four, X-Men, uh, Spider-Man. The deal with those properties is that as long as you are continually developing it, which effectively makes means making a movie every three to four years, you get to keep rights to that property forever. That's why there's a new X-Men movie, <laughs> excuse me, every three years. That's why uh, the Fantastic Four movie came out when the, the last one didn't do that great. They got to keep putting this stuff out or, or the rights revert to Marvel. So Marvel has gotten, they kind of handled it for the first couple of years and now they're getting really salty. As much money as the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies are getting and they're making billions, Disney and Marvel are still salty about not controlling X-Men. They were able to negotiate some creative control back for Spider-Man, but as far as I know, he's still owned by the other studio. So this ha the weird thing has happened is about two years ago, this feels like a corporate decision. It's certainly not a creative one. They decided that the Inhumans were gonna be the next, be be the next big thing. The Inhumans are gonna be the next big thing 40 years after they were created, they're hot. <laughs> They're not. So it's this totally illegitimate way of creating heat for something. Okay, the Inhumans, I will describe the Inhumans. They are okay-ish. They are the okay-ish of concepts. It is basically something very simple. It's basically a king and a kingdom in a weird place. But you take away the dark side of the moon and it's just standard feudal government intrigue. This guy wants to be the king. The king's having problems. He's arguing with the queen. Uh, the prince doesn't want to be a prince. Whatever. There, there's some interesting aspects. You know, Black Bolt is probably the most, he's probably the best character. And I'll get, and I'm going to circle back to that later. Um, the other ones are kind of very one note. There's a smart guy. There's a, there's a strong but dumb guy. There's um, a maternal woman and there's a paternal man. There's a dog who is loyal. Like, it's very 1950s and it's very simple. There's some interesting uh, designs. They came from Kirby's uh, era of his, they're just geometric shapes, but they still work. Black Bolt is a really good costume, but if you describe it to someone, you'd say, he's got a tuning fork on his head and he's got a blue leotard with random geometric shapes on it. It's, it's not exactly Spider-Man, which perfectly encapsulates what a Spider-Man would look like you, and, and looks good from every angle. Marvel decided to keep pushing this, and it's since it's literally like a computer uh, giving you an address and saying, "Yeah, I need, I need you and this girl at this address need to fall in love, make it happen." And you're like you have no common interests, you haven't met, you just gotta force it. So they've kind of forced us to like get surprised and suddenly get really excited about the Inhumans. But they didn't really do any big twist. All they did was uh, create this new guy who can predict the future and kind of based Civil War II around it. But there's been tons of characters who see the future. I mean, Destiny is a blind woman who literally like walks by like seeing the future of her steps. So they forced this, they kind of made the Inhumans like the, the, the pseudo X-Men or like the replacement for the Fantastic Four. And it didn't work. They've tried it. They've done Inhuman series. They've done uh, solo Inhumans titles. They sell really poorly. Years ago, they were uh, they were thinking about in making Inhumans uh, into a movie with Vin Diesel as Black Bolt. That could have worked. 
And then they started making it a TV, and it's kind of like the same. It's not the Netflix side of Marvel. It's the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. side of Marvel, which is... I know some people who like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I just think it's hot trash on a summer day. And the garbage company's on strike. They push this, so, so, so they come out with it, they're like, we're doing it, and everyone just goes like this. Okay. You don't want... You don't want something that says... Where, where the reaction is, okay. Like, you want it to be like, God, I'm so excited about this. Or what the hell, why are they making that? A mild okay is the worst reaction you can get for anything in a creative endeavor. Inhumans is a TV show, not because Inhumans has a big fan base, not because Inhumans has a lot of potential and it's just unrealized. It's just because of a corporate decision based off of copyrights. It's the most illegitimate reason for any creative, any creative endeavor to begin. But... Let's just say that all that's fine and you found like a showrunner who just really loved the Inhumans. Then we get to how they look. Now, p publicity photos, especially new ones, can be really bad and really cringy because they do this flat kind of like, it looks, it looks like these guys went to glamour shots. Um, and this was actually the first one before they started getting fancy. So you got Black Bolt in the middle. He looks okay. They, they kind of, that's actually a pretty direct translation of his costume. And there's no reason for him to wear a mask or have a tuning fork. It's, that's fine. This actually looks pretty cool. Over on the left, you got uh, Gorgon and Karnak and they race swapped both of them, which is actually, this is a great example of why race swapping can work and not work. None of the races of anyone in the Inhumans needs to be any specific race. You want to talk about an Idris Elba role, Black Bolt is an Idris Elba role. Like, the way he can convey emotion in his face, everybody loves Idris Elba. I, 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 I actually have a website, I'm trying to get Idris Elba as Aunt May. I want Marissa Tomei out of there, I want Idris Elba in there. But I actually don't want it to be like in the next movie, I want it to be in the middle of the movie. Just, he just walks into a scene, he gives her a little like thanks and like kind of hitches his thumb over his shoulder and she just walks out. That'd be beautiful. Getting back to the Inhumans. So Gorgon, all Gorgon needs to be is like a big kind of dumb strong guy. Uh, but with like a reserve of, of being intelligent underneath like a brusque exterior. He's, he's basically Hercules with cloven hooves. Karnak, this is <laughs> this one's a little funny because Karnak is a martial artist so last year when um, Iron Fist was being uh, promoted and, and SJWs were freaking out that anyone who wasn't wa Asian was doing martial arts, they kept saying, okay, well, Karnak, Karnak has to be Asian. And congratulations, you got it, Asian Karnak. Congratulations on fulfilling every 1947 cliche of an Asian that they're the only people who can do martial arts. And if you want to be technical, uh, martial arts is one of the things uh, Karnak does. His power is actually to find weaknesses and things. So he had that has the aspect of fighting. Okay, so now we're gonna get to Medusa. And this is one of those ones, I actually almost made this video, I actually started making this video two days ago, and then I stopped. And the reason I stopped is because I felt sorry for this actress. This look that she's giving, this is like, I went to Juilliard and you know, I had these big dreams. I saw The Godfather. I had, and now I'm in a Party City wig, with a like discount princess gown. It's bad. Literally, the cheap Halloween costume of Medusa would look better than her actual. It's it, it, roasting people. This is so easy. It's it's easy to roast, but I legitimately feel sorry for this actress. This is embarrassing, especially when they put her next to Black Bolt who looks pretty good. You didn't have to get a Party City wig. It doesn't have to be stupidly red. And you don't need this cheesy, like, uh, uh, dress on her. Just make her a normal girl with normal hair, and in the few CGI scenes, she can do something with her hair. That's fine. Next to her is Crystal, which, Crystal actually has kind of like a fun look. The act actress portraying Crystal is the only one who looks like she doesn't hate her life in this in this photo? She looks like she's like, hey, I'm on a, hey, I'm on TV, cool. She seems to be having fun with it. Her dress is a little silly. Some people have said this might be some like ceremonial garb that they don't wear a lot. That's what I'm hoping for. Although Black Bolt's um, jacket is just awesome. And then next you got Maximus, and he's fine. He's like a villain. Um, so 
getting back to something I said before, there's not enough material in the Inhumans to make a series, and they obviously don't have the budget. See, and this came from a weird, uh, you know, a, a very weird birth. It was not creative, it was corporate. They're kind of burying the lead, as they say, in newspaper business. You, Black Bolt is actually a really interesting character. And it, if they should have made it just a Black Bolt series, because this is a very interesting concept. You got this guy who has the power of a god, and he basically has to just keep it shut all the time. If he, if he, op he says one word, he'll shatter the whole city. This is very interesting to get him into some situations and figure out. I mean, I'm just going to be cheesy. Just make it on the cheap. Have him trapped on Earth for some reason. And whatever. He's got to solve a mystery. Helps people out. But it's just him. And, it, and he's basically... He's like a cop who the only weapon he has is like 20 nuclear missiles. So he's like, you don't have a gun. You don't have a nightstick. You don't have pepper spray. You're not even really good at fighting. You can either solve things in some other way, or you can basically blow up the whole city. So that would be an interesting concept. That would really stretch writers to figure out like a new uh, plot for every episode. But they're not doing it. They're just going through with this. Uh, I, uh, I'm watching Halt and Catch Fire, and they had this great analogy one time about camping. And they say, you always think camping is going to be fun, and then it's never fun. How many times do you have to pretend like this is going to be fun before you just say, no, we're not going camping? Um, at some point, they just should have said stop, or they could have done like the soft sell of we're going to make this black bolt, then we'll test it out. Then you introduce the other characters, and then maybe you expand it into Inhumans, or you prep it to be a movie where it really belongs. They had a, um, uh, Ladron did a, a, a miniseries during the Quesada years, I believe, or at the end. And it was really good, but it was a big, big movie, and it was great. So that's what they should have done. That's funny. I thought this was going to be a short video because <laughs> the Inhumans aren't that interesting to talk about, but it ended up being really, really long. Recap. It was created basically because Marvel was butthurt about some copyright issues. Really bad way to start a creative endeavor. They're not off to a strong start. It's not that strong of a property. Um, and I got a whole laundry list of things. Man, Moon Knight... Night Thrasher, geez, Werewolf by Night. I, I'm reading these uh, official handbook of the Marvel Universe, and there are so many good characters. Um, but the Inhumans are just like it's from the you know the throw everything at the wall era of Marvel. It's like it's like them and the Eternals. It's just like these characters you kind of know about. They're fine as guest stars. They actually had a really good couple issues in X Factor when Will Sportacio did it. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to check it out. I think Black Bolt, the actor, he seems like he has some promise, but I think it's going to be a disaster. So tell me what you think. Tell me if you like Inhumans. Tell me if they should have been a, a movie series. And also tell me what Marvel property that isn't being developed that you would like to be see developed. For me, it's kind of a trick question because I'm obsessed with Night Thrasher. I always wanted him to be in a TV show. He is going to be in the New Warriors TV show. But it looks like they're playing him as like a Kevin Hart-style goof who just wants to be famous, and that's not the character at all. So, effectively, he's Night Thrasher in name only. So, anyway, uh, comment below. I got, I'm got i getting better on responding because I got a new app on my phone. It makes it easier to see the comments. Subscribe. That helps me um, get more people and make the channel more viable. And I'll have another video up tomorrow. Thanks.